Shout out to all my gods and goddesses checking out this video. I am see the spiritual goddess here for your celebrity starlight report. Shout out to all my gods and goddesses. Shout out to the bards, fellow bards. We are doing a reading on the queen sleeves. Nicki Minaj. Yes, guys. Leave me some unicorn emojis if you are here checking this out for Queen Sleeves herself. So we are going to be getting into some NM5 predictions. I wanted, for those of you who don't know, I wanted to do this video live. I know I posted something about doing it live, but I said I gotta spend time on Nicki Minaj. I am a big Nicki Minaj fan for those of you who don't know. So <laughs> I love her music. I'm a fan of her work. Today we're going to go ahead and get into it. Nicki Minaj did just release her video with Lil Baby, Do We Have a Problem, which is really good. She's been doing some press and she's been talking about NM5 a lot. So I want to go ahead and pull some cards to get some predictions for NM5. For those of you, of you who don't know what that means, that's a Nicki Minaj's fifth album. But what is the overall energy for this fifth thing thing? What is the overall energy for NM5? Okay, so we have the Empress, the Eight of Swords, and then the Star card. Spirit is saying that we are going to get a lot of insight on what Nikki was feeling from this energy. I definitely feel like motherhood has changed her. Where, whereas in the past, Nikki may have felt like constricted and locked. I know she talked about feeling creative creatively stagnated she may have felt like she was blocked off or held back vocally just artistically in the past i feel like we're not getting that i feel like nikki is going to talk about that whereas in the past nikki may have felt like stagnated she felt like she couldn't speak she felt held back and held back especially in the last era. I feel like, but with this era though, she has transcended that. Nikki is now in her bag. I definitely feel like she's more in tune, more spiritual. She's more, I don't know what the word is. It's like, she's recognizing who she is and she's recognizing her divine feminine power. And I definitely feel like we're gonna get that overall energy on this album. We're going to hear a lot about what Nikki has went through. We're also going to hear a lot about, we're going to, we're, this is, I feel like this is going to be the most creative she's ever been. I don't know. I get a creative spark with Nikki right now. Hmm. I'm excited about that. All right. So let's ask Spirit, how would the, this, this music be received by the general public, by the fans overall? How would this be received? Okay. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, if you guys want me to do more videos like this. Let's see, how will this album be received? Oh, we got Ace of Coins, so she's definitely gonna make some money from this album. Um, she's gonna, this album's gonna be very lucrative for her, okay. We're gonna see Nikki everywhere. Okay, Four of Cups, the Hierophant. I feel like for the most part, people are going to really like this album. I definitely feel like Nikki is going to make a lot of money. We're gonna be really spinning our coin this era for those of you who are fans of her, so get ready. But I feel like people are going to, re going to really like this. For the most part, I feel like this is going to make people remember why they fell in love with Nicki. So I don't know if she's going to be going back to the basics with this album, but I feel like this is going to be remind people of what we needed. And for the most part, I definitely feel like this is going to be, the album is going to be received majorly well by the public. Okay, so let's see. How will this album perform? Let's ask Spirit, how will this album perform? How will this album perform? How will this album perform, Spirit? I feel like the album already, I'm getting like, the album is going to do well perfect, commercial, commercially. 
Like, I don't know why I see like a lot of Nicki's music being played on commercials. Okay. Yeah, I think this album is going to perform well. Like, she's going to, how was this album perform? I feel like this album is going to perform very well. I feel like this is Nikki right here. Like this is going to be, I feel like this album is going to perform very well. I do see, I keep picking up like this is, this is her fans like leading the, leading the way. I feel like Nikki is going to definitely really rely on her fans this era. And I feel like they're going to show out. But for the most part, I definitely see this album performing well commercially. All right, so here's the question. I know a lot of people, a lot of bars has been asking. I think I'm going to pull out my Queen Nella uh, cards. Will Nikki be affected by the hate train? We'll get to back to the tarot, but I just want to pull. How will Nikki be affected by the hate train? And for those of you who don't know, when I say the hate train, I mean, you know, Nikki's ops, you know. If you know, you know, especially during the queen era. <laughs> I think a lot of us bars, bars still have PTSD from that time. So much of the fact, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but like Nikki has been doing like interviews and, and it's been real positive. And I feel like some people don't know how to take it because they're expecting like the queen era. <laughs> Just a side note, um, but let's go ahead and see. Yeah, most definitely they're gonna try it again. Look, here go Nikki right here. Shout out to Queen Nella for this car. So they're gonna try to portray Nikki as the bad guy, as the backstabber, but let's see what will be the outcome spirit of it. There's gonna be some people and, and this for me could mean um, a female. This doesn't necessarily mean a relationship, but I am getting maybe a female of some sorts in particular. <laughs> um, but I feel like there's gonna be people from the other side that's going to try to go against Nike. I feel like they may try to come up and, and start to put out bad press, but I definitely feel like a lot of them are gonna be more so mad because I don't feel like it's going to work out in their favor as much as they think. I don't know, I'm getting like someone being angry, someone being jealous, um, someone being mad that they have to re-strategize. I don't know why I keep getting like someone, like people feeling like they have to re-strategize their attack, if that makes sense. So, mm, that's very interesting. Let me pull some more cards on this. I wanna pull some more cards. I'm gonna keep come out of this. Yeah, they're not gonna prevail though. I definitely see that. I definitely see they're not going to prevail. I feel like some things are going to come out. They're going to try to start it up. And at first, you know, I definitely feel like gossip is going to us, especially when it comes to gossip, um, is going to run. But I feel like they're not going to, to prevail the way that they think they are. Okay, so that's very interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to ask Spirit. Because I did watch a Nikki interview and she stated that she has a female artist that she's collabing with. She she says she's not following this person, but she said that said that they're collabing. So I want to ask Spirit about Nikki's collabs. If they can give us a hint. Spirit, who is this person that Nikki is going to be collabing with? What is some characteristic on Nikki's collabs? Who's this female? Who's this female? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Lotto, but I could be wrong. I definitely see her and Lil' Kim. I don't know, I'm getting cancer, Lil' Kim. This, but this person could have cancer predominantly in their chart, but I don't know, I'm getting Lil' Kill might be a collab. Um, that could be the versus battle, but I feel like 
It's someone that's a Cancer, Taurus, or a Libra. Could this be Cardi, guys? Is it Cardi a Libra? <laughs> but I definitely see it being either, I see a collab with a water sign and either a Taurus or a Libra. So that's very interesting. All right, guys. So I hope this reading made sense. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to make sure you guys also go to the pinned comments there to leave your questions for part two. I will be coming on with a part two for Nicki Minaj. So definitely leave your questions there. Also, if you are into occult, occultism, uh, magic, divination, or just that free spiritual shit <laughs> make sure you guys check out my new group the contra society yes guys this is a a place for us to all connect we'll be hosting our first book club there so i'm so excited about that if you guys are interested all that information will be below until then all my gods and goddesses don't forget to always rock your crown see you in the next video peace